I hear the market's crashing. I hear uh, realtors telling people, take your house off the market. Don't put your house on the market. Now's not the time to buy. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. David Fleming with Century 21. Your Dallas housing market update as of May, what was it, 13th. You know what, people? I do not understand where this is coming from. I hear the market's crashing. I hear uh, realtors telling people, take your house off the market. Don't put your house on the market. Now's not the time to buy. There's all this stuff that's going around. Even the even the media was jumping in this week and just giving just a little bit of numbers because what is it? Unless they freak you out, they're not doing their job. I don't know where they're getting these numbers. Now, the numbers that they got as far as from last year to this year, all right, so the listings are down, what, 17%. So what? What does that tell us about what's happening right now compared to last month? So for almost two months now, I've been bringing you just the facts because that's what I promised you, just the facts. So let's dive into just the facts. And of course, this first slide, who really knows what it means until we dive into the numbers, but it looks pretty, so I'll go ahead and go over it real quick. Now, what does that tell you? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Until you look at what, compared to what's going on seven days ago versus a month ago, versus if you want to, you can go back a year ago, but let, put a pin in this thought. How strong do you think the market was a year ago? Was it pretty strong? I think it was pretty strong. I think it was pretty good. I want you to remember that whenever we go in and we look at what are the numbers compared to last year. So let's actually go into the actual numbers here and I'm gonna change my screen. So here we go. Why don't we make that a little bit bigger? How about that? There we go. So over the last seven days, you got to look at May 6th to May 13th. So May 6th, property sold 2,354 versus the 13th, 2,327. That's down, what, 1%? Oh, that's horrible, right? I don't know what we should do. I think we should all lose our ever-living minds because of that. No, I don't think so. So you got properties listed. Uh, May 6th, you had 2,693. May 6th, you had 3,041 versus May 13th. Um, listed was down to, what, 2,693. It's down 12%. What in the world happened in, 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 the, in that length of time? Where have we been? Especially Dallas, man. They can't make up their freaking mind what they want to do over there, do they? You know, the mask, no mask. Oh, you're open. You're not open. Remember that as well whenever we look at this numbers um, because Dallas is kind of just flattening out where everybody else, you know, Tarrant County and the MLS is still going up as far as over the complete uh, area. So now let's look at under contract. Back on May 6th, you were looking at, what, 2,326 for uh and then uh, properties versus the 13th, 2,339. That's up 1%. And then pending over the last seven days, 2,653 versus 2,855. That's up 7%. What? I thought they said that the market was crashing. What's going on here? No, no, we're just, we're fine, people. This market is fine. So. What does that tell us? Now, once again, you have to look at the difference between the listings and the solds, and then you have to compare that to the under contract and pending. In other words, what's coming on, what's selling, and what's about to sell. If it's lopsided really far, it could be it could be a sign of trouble, things to come. I don't see that. Have we been out in the market? Are people actually doing a lot in the market right now? No, because they keep being told that something's wrong with the market. There's nothing wrong with the market. I've been doing this for two months. I haven't seen anything that says, hey, beware. You better watch out because the market's about to crash. No, not here. So now let's look at over the last month. So that would be, and highlighted in blue, April 15th versus May 13th. So what does that do? You got 1,751, right? on the sold versus what, 2,327. Well, that's up 33% on the sold. Listed, what, 1,890 on the listed. A month ago, 2,693, that's up 42%. Well, what's going on? Now you got under contract, 1,325 properties. 
2,339. That's up 77%. Uh, then you got what? What, was, what do we have left? Pending, 1,688 versus 2,855. Well, that's up 69%. Anything right there tell you that something's wrong with the market or, or this thing's about to go belly up? No. It's strong. The market is the market. And what is it? 22 days. I just looked it up. The average home's on the market for 22 days. Now, sales price. Okay. A year ago, the sales price in April was over the t entire metro and the entire MLS is 2000 or 265000 that's in April of 2019. Where is it right now over the entire MLS? 278,000. That's that's the sales price. All right, so let's see here. Monthly supply, that should be a pretty good indicator. April of last year, you got 3.3 months. So that's how long it would take for us to run out of uh, out of houses. That's 3.3 months. Now you can look at Tarrant County, it's right there, and you can look at Dallas, right? Tarrant County's 2.3, Dallas County's 3.3. Well, now it's that it's 2.8. It's less. That means houses are turning. They're moving. Tarrant County's two months. Dallas County's 2.7. Anything issues there, right? Look over month over month. Now, good thing is another 15 days we'll have more data and we'll look at the difference between um, April and May. But right now we don't have that because it's not the end of May yet. So. In March, we had uh, what 2.7, and now we're at 2.8. We're just tad up, but it's not a major, drastic difference. There's not a whole bunch of houses sitting on the market, so that tells us another thing that we want to look at. Where is it? Days on market. Uh oh, oh, the sky is falling. No, it's not. Right? Entire MLS in March, 25 days. That's how long the average house is sitting on the market. Where did it go? It went down to 22 days. Is that a good thing? Yes, that's a good thing. That means the houses are the houses are moving on average every 22 days. Boom, boom, boom. Is there anything wrong with that? No. All right, well, you know what, Dave? Well, what about this? What about the percentage? Uh, it, it was listed at this amount. Well, where did it sell? Surely the houses, the values have to be going down because the world's coming to an end or uh, the market's cracking. That would be a sign, correct? Well, no. All right, well, let's look at a year ago. Let's just look at a year once again. Was the market strong? Does everybody agree the market was strong in April of 2019? I think so. So the houses were selling at what? 97.9% of what they were listed. All right, so let's look at where they're at now. April of this year. Well, it's at 98%, uh-oh, it's 0.8% off. Oh, don't do anything. Don't put your house on the market. Don't go buy a house. Something's wrong with the market. No. Closed sales, all right? Closed sales. Entire MLS, 9,827 9, versus what? 8,028. Because there wasn't as many houses on the market. See, there's nothing wrong with the market as, as far as um, we've been making bad decisions and now it's, it's correcting itself. No, there was an event that happened. Oh, let's see here. Pending sales. Pending sales should be down a little bit, all right? Um, we're, you're looking at 9,375 in March, uh, 8,378 pending sales. That would make sense because Dallas is pretty much locked down. I mean, you couldn't even go in into Dallas uh, without a mask on, and there definitely wasn't many showings going on. So that's just a sign of where we're at. So new listings, new listings is probably down a little bit. Let's look at that. I'll say March of 2020, you're looking at 13,394, went down to 11,000. That, make, that makes sense. So is there anything that tells y'all something's wrong with the market? Don't react, don't react. Don't do anything, just freeze. Uh, 22 days is pretty strong. 22 days for houses to move. Pretty strong, strong in my book. Now, that being said, if you don't feel comfortable with the market, let me take a drink. I forget to tell y'all to relax, grab a glass of iced tea, sit back, and let's have some fun. I got fired up because I'm just tired of hearing that people are saying something's wrong with the market. But if you're not comfortable, don't do anything. It's okay. You don't have to do anything. 
No one's telling you you should, but they shouldn't be telling you not to without knowing the numbers. That's up to you. So where do we go from here? Proceed with caution. That's it. Have somebody like myself that's going to bring you the facts. That's it. If you have facts, you you don't have to you don't have to react out of a spirit of fear to, to say, oh, I better not do anything. Better hide my money under the mattress, or better just hold off. No, well, that's what you want to do. But if you need to do something, or it's time for you to you need to relocate, or you're ready to get out of the house that you're in, no big deal. Go do it. Lastly, if you want to find out what's going on in, in your area, all the way down to your subdivision, I can give you that data. It's okay. I can find it. If you want to look at where we were at month over month from March to April, that'll be what? Um, in May 5th, if I'm not mistaken, it'll be in that video. You can, you can click on that right up there and it'll take you right to that. I don't know what else I have to do to, to help y'all to just give you facts. I really don't care if you get in the market or not. It's, it's not up to me. The Lord's going to provide me with what he's going to provide me with. And if y'all want to use me, that's great. If you don't, no big deal. But I think you do need to be informed. And let's act and react out, out of information with a level head. Guys, until next time, there's two things, right? Hope, <laughs> I sure hope y'all have a great weekend. I'm going to have a blast this weekend. Right, I'm gonna go so, show some house of virtually. Number one, God loves you. Number two, you know what I do as well. Y'all have a great weekend. Until next time, see y'all down the road.